Hello and welcome. We are on Tuesday evening. It is the 23rd of May. It has just gone six o'clock and we're logging to see what, as always, is new from yesterday to today. Um, we are expecting... There should be something MLS related, I think, because they put the pack in... They, they, sorry, they put the players in packs recently. Um, so the chance of actually something... Upgrade wise or like a guaranteed pack wise, we we will see. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. But one thing we do know is there's no new objectives. Season progress is continuing. No new events. No events. Full stop. Um, the daily login we will get the Castellanos um, card for five daily login things. That's always a good thing. Um, free players. Uh, so yeah, let's go in. And have a peek at what we've got. Well, we've got a new icon today for certain. Roberto Carlos joins the club. Three star skill moves, two star weak foot. He's not great, but he's there for his free kicks and his pace up and down the wing. He is going to be beneficial of an anchor. For sure. Get that physical, get that defensive side up. His dribbling is already pretty good. His shooting is already really good. As you can tell, free kick actually in curve rank higher than all the sh the passing stuff. And yeah, power free kick, long throw in. Renowned for that free kick against France that they mention. And yeah, there we go. That is the new card today. What is it going to cost? 85, 86, 87. Fair enough. I would have had it a little lower than that, but it is what it is. We'll do the two segments quickly. Get these two rare bronze ones out of the way so we can open the tradable rewards in a minute for it. Um, always advise people whether you plan to do the SPC or not for icons, that it's always worth doing the bronze and silver ones. As I'm pretty sure I've repeated every single time that we've had um, any sort of SBC in this game during this cycle. It's always worth doing it because you get two rare gold players and they are fully tradable. So we'll go back to there and do the silver squad now and then we'll move on to whatever else we've got. Check the store. We'll check. Um, should I have a preview pack? Maybe not actually. Um and see what else is there today. Um, doesn't look like we've got a player, judging by the fact that Carlos came at the front and there was nothing else mentioned on the front screen of the player thing, and we didn't see anything earlier on. Is that all 11? It is all 11. All right. What is up next? So that is... Carlos done and done. So, upgrade, 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 blah, blah, blah. Rafinha. Premium La Liga upgrade is what we've had before. The 81 plus times 11. We may well do if there's no other content. Ah, here we go. So, ooh. Oh, it's a kit. I thought it was actually going to be a proper SPC. Badge, TFO. No, I'm interested in that. Thank you. Daily login. Again, we will do... And we'll do the um, MLS one, assuming that is an actual, like, um, get any of the MLS team of season players. It should be cheap as well, because the fact that it, he, the, 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 put my teeth in. Um, it should be cheap because it's an off-league league. It's only one segment. It's probably going to be an 84, an 83, even better. Let's go in. Grab some players and put the packs in place. Party can go for obvious reasons. Matip can go as well. And then 82s and 83s. Right, let's get rid of obvious 83s. Who do we get a lot of? A lot of, a lot of Neves, a lot of Fernandinho, a lot of Navas. Um, and then we'll go 82s. Pulisic, he's off position. Almost off position. 
Ericsson is off position, Bellicor is off position, and Dumfries is off position. Let's get some um, 83s for the bench because I'm bound to need some to up lift the rating. Uh, we'll go Jimenez and we'll do a Soler as well. Oh no, we're there. We're cool. We're good. And we're spot on. Okay, I finally learned. 284s, 383s, and then the rest 82. Work for that. This is MLS Team of Season Pack coming in. And we'll do the 81 plus times 11 because one day we'll get something worthwhile. Right, 84s, here we go. 84s. Right, Sancho, Hummels. So we need nine of these. And then we get 283s, chuck them in as well. And then we're happy. Zielinski, Jimenez. So that's the 84 squad. And we'll open that one, because it's not going to give us anything. Do the 82, open the packs, end the video, Bob's your uncle. So it looks like, yeah, MLS, Team of Season Upgrade Pack, Roberto Carlos Prime, and then those kits. That, and the, Sorry, the kit and the TIFO and the stadium stuff that I wasn't really that interested in. And obviously the new Castellano, Cas, Castellanos card from the daily login if you've done all the daily login things so far if you've missed one then obviously you'll have another chance to get the card tomorrow but while it's there make sure you do every day you're, you've got the access to be able to because it's worthwhile doing so this was an 82 wasn't it so we'll put a couple of 82s in um, and then 81s up so but um ba -ba 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 -ba, porter for tongan and we'll put some on the bench oh no we are right cool oh we are right we're right at the right no. okay so we're pretty much smack on there Cool, so let's see what we've got. See if anything's cropping up. So yeah, that looks like everything there is today. It's still the upgrade is the main thing, to, to be honest. For me, I'm grinding through the leagues, the premium league and the non-premium league upgrade because they do give good rewards. Some of the rewards are tradable and you never know what you're going to get in the tradable rewards. Um and the fact that if you do some if you do some of the premium and then you do some of the non premium ones, you just get enough stuff coming through to be able to continue to do so and then sell on. So it's fairly repeatable. Now this is a decent card. Five star week foot as a striker. Really good composure. For me, engine on him. Up the dribbling. Up the balance, the agility, the pace, and the passing stuff. Already got really good shooting. Already got really solid physicals. Two decent traits. Nice card. Indeed. I'll be trying that one out for certain. So, let's go over and open the packs that we've got today. So, we'll end with the MLS and the 81 Plus, but to these two rare golds, these are the tradable parts of the Roberto Carlos SPC, the bronze and the silver. So, we're going to get Hugo Lloris. Now, straight off the bat, that's very much worth a tradable, sorry, a set of rare golds or common golds. He may only be 13k or whatever it is. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Cheeky bid on that. So it's mostly about 16 to 18. We will put him up on the market and leave him there. And I may use him in a bit. See, that's already made it worth it. The rare golds, uh, sorry, the rare silvers and the rare bronzes. The fact that we've already got 87 Loris out of it. Profit. Uh, 
And even then, when you get duplicates, you know they're going to be tradable duplicates. So you can immediately just put them up. This is a small electron. What must this be from? Oh, is this the this is the one of the sections from the eighty one plus times eleven, which is also tradable. Now, obviously, when we open the MLS pack, we're hoping for Mukhtar, Almeida, or Vela would really be the best outcomes. This is the daily login upgrade, which is not tradable. Lights up, though. German left wing Sane. And the second card is... Ah, that's pretty good. A4 and A3. So I think now I should just have the two left. Eleven eighty one La Liga. I don't know where that's from. Oh, La Liga is the league we're on. For some reason, <laughs> I had it. I, I had it in my head. It was Bundesliga. Right. Let's do the MLS team of season player pack. Um, we're probably going to get a Blake or a Glasney, but let's hope. It's something better than that. What do we have? It's German. It's going to be Wagner, which means it's a duplicate. Because I've got the Bimbo sponsored fullback in another pack. Is it tradable? Probably not. Um, do we have something quick? I can put a 90 rated card in. Is there anything I can put a 90 rated card in that won't be a waste of a card? Um. What segments have I got left on Kuman or Puskas? Puskas got two. Kuman. See, I, would, I just don't want to waste the 90 and I do want to open the other thing. So we'll do, put it in 85 to be honest. So Wagner is the first card we've got. We can put these guys in. Um, and let's just go Spanish League and put these guys in because they're the most likely ones I'm going to get out of the pack. So it makes sense to put them in to avoid duplicates or to minimise duplicates, I guess. Cool, so that's 85. Who's the highest power hole? Okay, cool, we can reduce a bit more. Let's be honest, these 82s we're more likely to get than the 85s. Okay, there we go. Cool, we are right the limit. Yep, we're right the limit. Okay, Falconer goes into there. We complete Kuman. We get an extra pack. We use up a duplicate. It's all useful. Kuman is a nice card. Are we going to get the animation now as well, are we? Foot birthday. Pink boards everywhere. And Ronald Koeman. As I said yesterday, one of my earliest footballing memories is watching Ronald Koeman smash home a free kick for Barcelona against Sampdoria at Wembley in a European Cup final. So... Strong memories of him. Love the card. Decent player. De good manager as well, I guess. So, yeah, happy with that card. And it was a reasonable price. So we've got the 81 plus times 11 La Liga pack next. We will do that right now. These two are duplicates. And we'll end the video there because I've waffled on way too long, as usual. So, yeah, one pack left. It is this one. 11 81 plus La Liga pack. Obviously, chance of a blue flare here, but more than not likely, less chance, minimal chance. But we take our chances, and it is, yes, come on, come on, good Nashanti. It's another Testagan. Well, it looks like I'm doing another Pushka, another Pushka segment, because that's a GP94, and you can't... Oh, are we going to get something underneath this? Oh, a David Garcia. <laughs> I suppose that's not too bad. It's not going to... That, I didn't notice his ball control before. 98 ball control for a central defender is 
huge. And in the air, 99 jumping and 99 heading accuracy with that aggression and strength are really good. In fact, putting his defending in 93 is a little harsh considering. But yeah, that dribbling is really good. And short passing is perfect. Bit of pace, you could use a catalyst on that. An anchor. Or even an engine, to be honest. We'll give it a try. Power header as well. Useful card. Decent selection. And then I've got Cruz and Testagen as duplicates to go and use in a push gas. So yeah, there we go. That's what I've got in mine. Hope you get good cards in yours and with the other things. And good luck with completing upgrades or packs or games or whatever you want to do this evening. There we go. Um, I'll see you, speak to you this time tomorrow. Uh, have a good evening and speak to you on Wednesday evening. Thank you and goodbye.